One question has plagued human beings forever and never really been put to rest. Which comes first, the chicken or the egg? In the 2012 elections, this issue has evolved in dangerous ways. The new question, who has more rights, a woman or her egg? You may think this is a joke, but it's not. Mississippi voters are expected to say yes to Amendment 26 supporting personhood. That would mean that a fertilized human egg will be a person under the law, making abortion equivalent uh, to murder. Thanks to Personhood USA, as many as 11 states are considering measures that decisively do just that, an organization whose sole purpose is to overturn legal abortion and give fertilized eggs more rights than a woman. The reason there's been suspense about 26 in Mississippi, the so-called personhood amendment, is because defining a fertilized egg as a person not only bans abortion in all circumstances. If a woman became pregnant through rape, for example, she would be forced by the government to bear that child. Uh, same goes for incest, same goes for pregnancies that could threaten a woman's life. In Maryland, Angela Carter, 27 years old, 25 weeks pregnant, had lung cancer. She, her family, and her doctor agreed to keep her alive for as long as possible. But the hospital called an emergency hearing to determine the rights of the fetus. The court held that fetal rights outweighed Angela Carter's right to life and ordered cesarean surgery despite the risk to Angela. Neither Ms. Carter nor the baby survived. This thing could also ban some forms of hormonal birth control, like, for example, the pill. Also, the IUD, also in vitro fertilization. A fertilized egg that did not result in a live birth nine months later could be a crime scene under this measure. Laura Pemberton, a resident of Florida and mother of seven, didn't want to undergo another cesarean surgery, so she stayed home to have her baby. When she was in active labor, she heard a knock on the door. It was the state's attorney and a sheriff. They took her into custody, strapped her onto a gurney, and took her to a hospital where she was forced to have a cesarean birth. Personhood USA and their anti-choice cronies are making yet another effort to undo the right to legal abortion given to women in the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. They also seek to deny women birth control. Yes, we said birth control, which became a woman's right in the Griswold v. Connecticut decision of 1965. Personhood USA funded a debate between potential Republican presidential nominees. The candidates signed the Personhood Pledge. Not frightened yet? You should be. The Virginia State Legislature just passed a bill that deserves our attention. Virginia also has a, an ultrasound bill. It would force women who are in the first trimester of pregnancy to have something known as a transvaginal ultrasound. It's basically like a probe that they uh, insert in your vagina. It's very uncomfortable and they take an image of the, uh, you know, whatever is there, they take an image of it. According to the Guttmacher Institute, uh, there is absolutely no medical need to do this whatsoever. Let us remind you what the new federal definition of rape says, quote, penetration, no matter how slight of the vagina. We believe Virginia lawmakers have just created a law that sanctions state rape. If an initiative passes in your state, it could also outlaw stem cell research and prevent in vitro fertilization. If a woman wants to have a child and cannot get pregnant, too bad for her. Should you miscarry, watch out. In Utah, Melissa Rowland gave birth to twins, one of whom was stillborn. She was arrested on murder charges based on the claim that by refusing a cesarean section two weeks earlier, she was responsible for the stillbirth. While the economy will be the primary issue in the upcoming election, keep in mind that an unwanted pregnancy can turn a family that is just getting by into a family living below the poverty line. The real goals of personhood zealots are simple. Eliminate abortion, overturn Roe v. Wade. Eliminate birth control, overturn Griswold v. Connecticut. Take legal possession of a pregnant woman's body. 
Giving the rights of personhood to a fertilized egg is not only bad science, it's also bad law. You've seen their pledge. This is our pledge. We pledge not to let a woman's body be used as political diversion. We pledge to fight to maintain the rights given all women in Roe v. Wade. We pledge to uphold the right to birth control established in Griswold v. Connecticut. We will never go back.